So now before, this isn't just something that, oh, okay, just take the strike plate off and put the other one on and go for it, okay? We're not, I'm not going to do that. There's a couple things I need to uh, take into consideration. This door is 17 years old. It needs to be adjusted slightly. And see, when I have this open here, I want to, I'm going to keep this down, and then I'm going to lock the door just with this, where I know where it needs to be. Now it goes in, but and and it's not rubbing. I can tell that, but I could adjust it and push it in further if I just adjust this strike plate down here because I want it to rub up against the, uh, the weather stripping. Now this weather stripping is a little old, but it's this type of weather stripping. You see it's a vinyl, a vinyl type weather stripping like that. Okay, and it fits in a little groove in the door jam all the way around. I'm gonna end up putting new vinyl uh, weather stripping on there after I repaint this door frame later on down the road. But I can see uh, this strike plate down here, see there's a little tab there. And if I adjust that over just a little bit, that'll help push the door over a little bit. And then I, I, need, to, I need to double check and see if the strike plate, or if the deadbolt, is going to rub that strike plate or not. Right now, right now, it's about right in the middle. But when I move it over, when I push it over, where the where the uh, strike uh, latch is, the deadbolt, it's going to be pushed over closer to this edge, and it might start rubbing on that edge. You see what I'm saying? So I know I know that I've got I've got a little bit of a slop to adjust that. Okay, so when it's pushed in like that, now now I want to hit that. It goes in, but it's hitting it's hitting that edge and it's rubbing just a hair. You see, if I let go on there, it goes right in. Well, this is a two-step process. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and uh, make this uh, strike plate tighter to adjust for the door before I do that, before I, before I put this in. And see, I think what's gonna happen is when I adjust, when I adjust this strike down here, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. It's going to hit the edge of there. When I look at this, this is just a hair bigger than that, right? And so I, my theory, and, and if I hold it on there, it's the, the same width uh, from that edge to that edge. So if I... If I, when I hold this before I, I uh, mortise this out, if I just use this edge right there and then mortise out over to the left rather than all the way around it to, to center this, I'm then sliding this over to the door just a little bit more, right? Like there, and that's gonna give me just a hair if I use that edge of that line, do you see? So just, just bear with me here. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, strike plate off this bottom one. It's got a paddle there. It's got a paddle on this, but there's no little notch in there. If if there was a little notch on the side, I could take a standard screwdriver, set it there, and tweak it. And years ago, I used to just take this type here and kind of grab it from underneath and kind of pull out and then do the top and kind of pull that out but then it tweaks it all and, and it's really not the best way to do it so I don't do it that way anymore I, I go the extra mile and the extra mile is taking it off like this and I may have to adjust this a couple different times but that's the first thing I want to do can you, do you see do you see why I'm doing that Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna you see you see this paddle. I call that a little paddle right there. I've got to bend that over. Now, if you've seen me do this before, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my my pliers, I'm gonna grab this 
like that, put in my hands like this, and I can see right now that nobody has ever adjusted it before. See how it's coming straight out? So I'm going to take this right here, make sure I get it in, in the middle so I don't tweak the top or, or bottom. Get in the middle like that. Hold it like this and just bend it like that. You see? You can tell that I bent it, right? I haven't really bent it that much, but I think it might be it might be just right. And I won't know until I put it back in here. Okay? I'm gonna put it back in. And I like to put these screws in by hand. I don't like to get my electric drill out, battery operated drill, and, and put those screws in there. Because then you may twist those too far and strip the head or these screws. They're not, they're not that big and they're only going into this wood here. If you twist them too hard with your drill, it could just start spinning into the wood. You don't want that. Okay. All right. That way I can tell that that's snug when I'm just doing it by hand. And you see, it doesn't really take me very long. Okay, so now we're going to see. We're going to see how that goes. I still have a little bit of a, a little bit of a flex if I push in harder. But see, it goes right in. I know it's going to go right in on the top because I haven't pushed that in all the way. I know, I, I feel I want to adjust it a little bit more. Okay. Your door is going to slide, obviously be different than mine. And that's going to make it, that's going to keep this, this uh, weather stripping on the outside tighter. Now, in hindsight, or foresight, whatever you want to call it, when I put new uh, weather stripping around this door, chances are, uh, if I adjust this any tighter, chances are it's going to be that much tighter to close the door because the new weather stripping's going to have a little bit less of a flex because it's going to be brand new. It's not going to be 17 years old. So maybe I can think about that. Okay. And I can see I'm right on the, I'm right on the edge right there. Okay. And so I think I'm going to leave this bottom one alone after I put new weather stripping out. You know, when I get ready to paint this door jam, I'm going to, I'm going to take the weather stripping off. And I'm going to paint everything, everything, after everything dries, I'm going to put new weather stripping in there. At that point, when I get, get this here and I have all, everything installed, I can adjust this a little tighter if I feel like I need to. Okay? And hopefully, hopefully, I'll have enough room on this later on. That's why I'm, I'm trying to allow for that right now, slightly. Right? Worst case scenario, if you put something in like this and if your and, and if your deadbolt just barely hits it, uh, you can you can push on the door and adjust it that way. Uh, you know, every time you open and close it, or you can take a reamer bit and um, ream off the side. I just happen to have a reamer bit here. Look, see, like that. You put in your drill and you would ream out this side, just a just a hair. So then your um, your latch won't hit your strike plate. And, and in my case, I want to make sure that this, because this is electric, battery operated, I don't want that to hit any of this. Because if it does, it's going to prevent this from going in automatically. See, when I, when I press the lock, see how that goes? There's no way that's going to work like that if it's barely rubbing the edge up here. Follow? Okay, so now, I mean, worst case scenario, if I have to, if this rubs after I get this in, and if I feel I can fix that on this edge by adjusting the bottom strike plate a little bit more to push the door in, I can, I can adjust it that way right now. But I'm, I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case. But see, there's all kinds of ways to make adjustments for your your uh, your door and your your latch your strike plate and all that so see I'm gonna I'm gonna put that right up in there 
and let's just I know I have to take this off and whoever put it in uh, it's it's countersunk in just a hair and I'm hoping to be able to fix that if when I put my new one in I don't countersink it uh, as deep as that and on this on this one edge I may have to get uh, some cardboard and I just happen to have some cardboard here and then I can fold it and put it on these sides as I get ready to put this in. Do you see what I mean? Because I'm going to use I'm going to use this edge, that edge, and then I'm going to hold that up there. Then I can score this whole thing around here, score it out. But when I get ready to screw this in, this side's still going to push in, right? And so to fix that, I just get a little piece of cardboard, and you always can find a little cardboard somewhere because see see this I can I could cut I can cut some of this box up I could cut one of these tabs off and I could cut a strip of that fold it back and forth back and forth and then I can just use that I can just use this as my shim I could take a piece of cardboard actual like that I could even take paper I've used paper before you know here's your, here's the direction sheet on how to install it if you had to, you could cut that and fold that all up. One way or another, you can find things. I used to try to get a little piece of wood and stick it up there. That doesn't, that doesn't really work. And, and you don't really need that per se because um, the, if you just get a cardboard or something like that, that's, that's all you need. You see what I mean? Okay, so my next, my next step is I'm gonna hold this I'm gonna hold this up here and um, I'm gonna get it set up so I can hold this use this edge right there as this edge right and then I'm gonna split the difference top and bottom because this is taller this is taller than that see so I'm gonna split the difference this way and hold it there and line it up, score that, so I can get ready to notch it out. Okay, that's my next step. See, you can do this. You don't have to be a door installer or anything. Step by step, you can do it. And I've got all kinds of different videos on how to install doors, how to fix door sags, how to install strike plates, how to adjust strike plates, how to, how to uh, install uh, strike plates for a deadbolt, how to adjust a deadbolt strike plate, all that kind of stuff just go to my main YouTube channel and and hit click on playlists then scroll down to doors and you'll find every every video that I've ever done on my channel about doors door handles uh, strike plates locks all that kind of stuff will be right there and you can do it because I just show you hey I'm just an average show if I can do it you can do it I'm trying to set this up so that you can see it without me being in the way. Okay. I'm gonna line this up. Ah. Test. 